Hi and welcome to this video. In today's video I want to show you how to create a custom drop-down list that's going to be showing only the information you want from for example a list of vendor or customer or items. So for example here uh, I'm on a sales order and I created this custom transaction field uh, which is called manufacturer, it's just uh, the name I gave it and here I can only see three vendors. So it's actually a list of vendors that have been set to the category hardware. Now uh, I'm going to show you this, so let's go to the hardware company for example as one of the vendors. You can see here the category is set to hardware. Now uh, what I did is I went to customization list records and fields and transaction body fields new. Uh, of course uh, it brought me to this page. Now I gave the field a name, uh, I set it to a list record type here. I said I wanted to show all the vendors. I wanted, to do, I wanted it to apply only to sales transactions. Now I'm going on the display, I want to show it on the main section of the transaction. Here is where everything happens. This is where you're going to filter the data within the drop-down list on your sales order. So you see I don't want to see all the vendors I just want to see those where the vendor category is equal to hardware. By the way, you can have multiple filters, not just one. Okay, now don't forget before you create custom fields to just share this field to specific roles, specific departments or subsidiaries so that it's not everyone within your organization is going to be seeing this field. Then of course you're going to save and apply this form. Then you're going to save and apply this field to the forms that you want. So since it applies to all sales transactions, maybe you just want when you click on save and apply to form, maybe you just want to apply that to, for example, the sales orders and not the estimates and the invoices, or maybe the three of them. So that's where you're going to make sure that you are just setting this field to appear on the right form. Once you've uh, applied it to the forms, then you're good to go. Uh, you just uh, click on save and uh, here for example I applied it to all sales order forms. You click on save and voila if you go back to your sales order and you scroll to your main section you're going to see it uh, showing you the information to so the vendors that are of category hardware. I hope this video was useful to you. If so don't forget to leave a like or a subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.